everyone and welcome to the Learning Lads. Today I'm sharing with you my daughter's second grade curriculum. She is six years old and will be going into second grade in September. We are finishing up All About Reading Level 3 and then we're going to move on to All About Reading Level 4. This is the teacher's manual, the student activity pack with all the cards in, um, two readers, Elemantics and The Voyage. This is the colour edition. The illustrations in here are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, my daughter adores this curriculum. Um, we just can't gush about it enough. We love it. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. Um, for some independent um, practice as well, um, we have got the skill sharpener reading. Um, so she can do some of this in the morning or whenever she wants to do some extra. There's some fiction and non-fiction in here. I love this skill sharpener series. For spelling, we are doing all about uh, spelling level three. Uh, this is the teacher's manual, the student packet. It is Paul Prince. <laughs> She's gonna love that one. Um, this is an additional um, book from the same author that you can add to the level three. Well, I think you can add it at any point, but we decided to add it to level three. It's got lots of games and activities in. And then I did decide to add Explore the Code. Um, something to do over the summer and then we'll continue through the levels throughout the year. She really likes it. Not for reading, but for spelling because I think it's actually great um, to do some spelling practice with it. So that's what we got it for. And then she likes it. I'll um, continue on. I think we've got 437. Um, so we'll continue through that throughout the year. For language arts, we are going to do the Good and the Beautiful Level 2. It's not actually out yet. Well, the original one was, but they're doing a revised edition. Um, and I think that comes out in autumn. So we're going to start that in autumn. For grammar, we are doing first language lessons for the World Trade Mind Level 2. We did this last year and really enjoyed it, Level 1. So we're moving on to Level 2. And for additional practice, we are doing the Skill Sharpeners, Grammar and Punctuation. As I said, I love these skill sharpener series and you will see them a lot <laughs> in the rest of my haul. Um, they're great for independent work and I think they're just fantastic additions to your curriculum. For vocabulary, we are doing, we are doing the Scholastic Vocabulary Cartoon of the Day. Um, this looks a really fun way to do it and it'll just be in the morning basket, something we do for fun and if she wants to, she can colour the picture. And we have never used the Worldly Wires before but I thought we'd give it a try. Um, this is a book too. They have the word list and then some exercises based on the word list. I'll let you know how we like this one because it is new this year. Okay, for handwriting, our main curriculum is handwriting without tears. So we've used this from beginning, so from preschool onwards. Um, we picked printing power, building writers, and kickstart cursive. I also do get their journal as well. Um, the lines are a lot smaller this year. I see for natural progression. Um, and here is quick look inside printing power. And the kickstart cursive. And building writers. So we don't do them all at the same time. Um, I select and schedule them in um, so she gets some variety and different skills with her handwriting. Um, I did add the Good and Beautiful handwriting as well. I've never used this one before. So I'll give this one a try. So yeah, there's some drawing and colouring as well, which I know she will love. So that's that one. And ever more draw than write. Um, this is interesting because they have different levels of writing. So you can do the basic, where the word bank is there for you. Um, some questions and then you can completely write it yourself the different pictures that you're drawing so I think she'll really like that one we are adding a literature based curriculum this year this is level 2 logic and legends by torchlight it covers literature and poetry reading writing art and music um, social studies and history science and geography logic and legend um, the history is different than what we use, but there are some great example, uh, great um, activities and things that we can still do with our curriculum. And they had some great history book recommendations, which I'll show you in the history portion of the video. Um, they also have uh, amazing literature. Again, I'll show you all those books in a different video that go with this particular curriculum. But what I really like is the logic and legend aspect to it. So they're teaching information literacy and critical thinking skills, which is fabulous. Um, so this is our literature based and as I said I'll do a 
separate video with all the books that go along with this um, but I'll show you some of the books that they use in writing next. So for the writing portion of the curriculum they use writer's toolbox so teaching letters, how to write letters, fairy tales, scary stories, journals, poems and reports. This is such a fun uh, and inviting book. My daughter is going to love it. The pictures are just fantastic. Uh, Little Red Riding. So this is based on Little Red Riding Hood, um, but teaches them how to write their own story. Make me giggle, writing your own silly story. Uh, show me a story, writing your own picture book and action for writing your own play. I've done a separate video on Touchlight um, with regards to a, a basic flip through, so I'll link that below if you want to check that out and I'll, then I will be doing a future video with all the books that go along with it too. I mentioned in a previous video that I was considering adding Brave Writer this year and I was trying to decide whether I wanted to jot it down or something else. Um, I decided to go for the Quiver of Arrows. I, we've just got one initially to see how we like it, so we picked The House at Pooh Corner. And so here's our copy. Um, I really like the dictation method that she uses and just generally the whole theory behind her uh, curriculum. So I'm really excited to give it a try. As I said, we only just bought the one just to see how we like it. And then if we do, then I can purchase further ones throughout the year. We are really focusing on writing this year. So I've added a few um, of the Evermore books to go along with our language arts curriculum. Um, I really like picking and selecting certain things um, to focus on. I call it our monthly focus. Um, so I got the write a super sentence, paragraph writing, and the giant write every day daily writing prompts, um, just to keep things interesting um, for her. And I also got the husband my first story writing book. And then this is our literature po uh, pocket for Aesop's Fables. Um, I thought that would be a good one for us to do throughout the year. This is another book that they use as part of the Torchlight curriculum, Adventures in Cartooning. So it's writing, but it's also art as well, so cross-curricular. Um, I really thought that was such a fun um, activity, so I got this blank comic book notebook to go with it, so she can write her own comic book in there. And then finally, we the language arts, we got the Good Blood Thingy Mad Libs. This one is the junior one for Halloween. And then... We have introduced some fun schooling this year. So this is the All About Animals Creative Writing and Research Journal. So write, colour, doodle and learn. So she picks a different animal, uh, does some research on it, writes a little story and um, then colours the picture. So I thought she'll really like that. And there's just one more thing I want to show you. A year in my life, be creative every day. So it's a little journal um, that will be really fun. We'll put it in our morning basket. And every day there's a different activity for her to do. For maths, we continue on with Saxon Maths 2. So it comes with the teacher's manual, then we have student workbook part 1 and 2. You also get the meeting book and then your uh, cards, flashcards. The Water in Mind do recommend adding something to Saxon. Last year we added the Moffat Girls, our first grade math centres, which was a great curriculum. This year we've decided to add the Good and the Beautiful level 2. It's not actually out yet, so I can't show it to you. Um, it comes out in the autumn. Um, for that, so that's what, what we're going to add in addition. And then for a couple of uh, topics, we are going to pick from the Singapore Maths UK version, uh, uh, specifically money and measurement. So this is the textbook and then the workbook comes with it, but we're not going to do the whole thing, we're just going to pick topics, money and measurement from it. Okay, for science we are using Elemental Science, Earth Science and Astronomy for the grammar stage. Um, I've done a video on this already, I'll link it in the box below. We've used this Elemental Science from the beginning as well. Um, so this is the Earth Science and Astronomy for the Grammar Stage Teacher's Guide, the Student Workbook, the colouring pages which you do have to purchase in addition, the quizzes and then all the lap books and then I did add the skills sharpener science for independent work um, you know if she wants to do a bit extra she really likes science um, and there are some lovely pictures in that one okay first we are doing story of the world volume 2 the middle ages so we've got the text reader um, the read aloud I should say <laughs> the activity book um, I've put them all into um, a netbook for her and then I've also done a 
a video on Story of the World and included all the extra readers and read alouds we're going to do and I'll again link that below for you if you want to see that. I just thought I'd show you a couple of the books that were recommended from Torchlight. So What Happened When in the World, History if you've never seen it before. This is a fantastic book. Um, we are really going to enjoy and get a lot out of this one and it will continue to grow with us which I really love when purchasing books as well. And then A Child Through Time, The Book of Children's History. Again, another fantastic book. Okay, we do geography two days a week, and as well as we do history. And I like to split the skills for geography. So one day we do the more skills-based stuff, and then the next day we do a more unit study-based approach. So we have the skills sharpeners geography, grade two. We did the grade one this year, and we really liked it. Um, lots of hands-on activities with it as well, which are great. Uh, we did maps, charts, and graphs A last year, so we're moving on to B. She really enjoyed this one too. Very simple lessons, but they pick up quite a lot from them. As I said, we're doing Europe, so we're doing Sharp Mason, Simply Sharp Mason's Visit to Europe. Um, and this comes with several books, so The Hungry Planet, uh, Material World, and then she also has a few other book recommendations as well. So you've got lots of map work in this one. And then we use Hungry Planet, Material World to meet the different families. I purchased this uh, Close Up Continent. Uh, reference book and this one is Mapping Europe. So these look really fun. So we talk about climate, landmarks, industry, sport, food and drink, uh, what else? Culture, population, borders, settlements and wildlife. Okay and for our uni study geography day we are doing Around the World with Picture Books part two. Um, beautiful by Beautiful Feet Books. They were very kind to actually um, send me this curriculum for review. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited to use it. This is the PDF version, but it's still printed beautifully. Um, it uses some amazing books. Um, I've done a, a flip through of this one as well. I'll link that below. Um, it uses some fantastic books, as I said, so Maps book. Um, and I've got a couple of the um, ones to show you. So this is Anno's Journey, um, which looks so fun. Uh, this is Finding Winnie. This is for the Britain, Great Britain uh, uh, country that we visit. Uh, the art masterpieces to colour. We use them throughout. And then I added a couple of things for our Great Britain study. Um, if I can grab them. So a little London children's map. And then we've got the buildings that made London. I think this is a gorgeous book. Um, so it's got all the buildings it covers at the front, and then the pictures are absolutely stunning. And it folds out as well. So this is not one of the ones on the list, but it's one I added, and I think it really does it justice. Um, for when you do the UK study. And then she has her little notebook with all the pictures in that you used, that you used with the flags um, for each of the countries. There's a map over there, I think it's that one. And you visit France, Spain, Holland, Italy, Sweden, Denmark, Great Britain, Ecuador, Brazil, Peru, Chile. So this is the part two. We also have Expedition Earth by Confessions of a Homeschooler and um, what we'll do, we've had it for a few years now and what we do is we'll add a few of the lab books um, for some of the different countries that we visit as well. Okay, for art we are doing Yellow Spot Sun Presents Kingly Kingdoms. So it's medieval themed, which obviously with us doing Story of the World Volume 2 just goes perfectly. Um, I actually contacted Melissa who is the... Uh, Marissa, I apologise, Marissa, who is the author of uh, King of Kingdoms, and she actually um, sent me this curriculum at a discounted price for review, and I've got that video as well. I'll, I'll link below too for you. You can have so many videos linked below. <laughs> um, but I'm really looking forward to going through this curriculum. So it's video based, and then you get your notebook as well. She also has this one, The Colour Theory with the Impressionists, and I think I'm going to add that throughout the year at some point too. So that's Kingly Kingdoms. And then I've also got the Evermore How to Teach Art to Children. This looks really fun. So you get all the different projects above to do. 
and some experiments too. So there's a colour experiment one. Shading, textures, form, space. So it looks amazing. I'm really excited to do this one. Um, this is one of the uh, artists that we're going to be studying, Leonardo da Vinci. We're also going to be doing some STEM with him too, um, for some of his um, inventions. And I also got the Osborne Art Treasury, again this is another great one. So, I'll just use my leg as a, <laughs> a prop. Okay, so we've got the Starry Night, um, all about uh, Van Gogh, and then you get to create your own. And it's the same throughout. So it looks an amazing book. I'm really excited for us to use this one too. Okay, uh, Torchlight covers music as part of their curriculum, and the book they recommend is The Story of the Orchestra. So learn more, you li listen more, you learn about the instruments, the music, and the composers who wrote the music. So you get a disc with it, as you could see through the picture at the front. And then we've got all the different art. Composers, and he said artists then. Composers, and then all the different instruments. And then they also have this one Lives of the Musicians, Good Times, Bad Times, and What the Neighbours Thought. Oh, this is like a really fun one to read, actually. And those are both in the Torchlight Curriculum recommended, recommended reads for music. Um, I also picked up this Easiest Piano Course, Part 1. Um, we're still doing the recorder, and I thought we'd try this one out as well, see how we go with this one. And then I picked up this one, Can You Hear It? Um, this was not part of Torchlight, but I thought it would go great. So it's um, it's, art, it's cross between art and music, so it's more than 40 details and 26 works of art and music. So basically, there's a disc. So you look at a piece of art. Just find one. The instruments <laughs> get to the right page in a second okay so you look for it look at a piece of art and then you play the disc and then it says can you hear can you also hear and it's the same throughout for all the pieces um art pieces i feel like it's just such a fun idea um so i'm really excited to do this one i think she'll love it okay and then for poetry we added charles introduction to poetry this was recommended in uh build your library level two um, as one of their recommended reads. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. Okay, so we've got a few different options for critical thinking. So we've got the skill sharpeners, critical thinking. I told you I have a few of those skill sharpeners. <laughs> um, I also got these, these two were part of the Torchlight recommended reads, Two Truths and a Lie. Um, so basically you read the chapter and then you determine, as it says, truth and the lies. <laughs> um, so that's going to be really fun and very informative and educational for her in a fun way that she's going to love. And this is the other version. They just look absolutely fantastic books. I'm just really in love with Torchlight Cookery right now for all their amazing book recommendations. And they also recommend this one, Behind the Legend, Fact or Fiction, You Decide. And this is the Unicorns one. As I said, I've done a more in-depth video of Torchlight. Again, I'll link that below. Okay, um, so we've done that one. Uh, I also got the ever more critical and creative thinking activities. This looks really fun. This is something we'll do over breakfast um, while we're warming up for the day. And then, because my daughter is absolutely obsessed with riddles, she loves them. I got Dr. Do Riddles um, from the Critical Thinking Company. Um, and I also got this one off Amazon, Who Am I? If you've got any recommendations for these types of riddle books, let me know because they're really hard to find. I'm constantly making making them up myself. Um, so if you've got any other ones, any other recommendations, let me know because she loves them. Okay, for health, we are doing healthy habits and healthy kids. Oh, it's got a disc at the back with extra activities in. That's what it looks like inside. And it also come up, well it didn't come with, but I got this to go along with it, good enough to eat. So we're talking about all the different vitamins and minerals and 
I think she'll enjoy that one. And then I got this pack a uh, while ago, which I've been saving for second grade. So it's a uh, healthy me, mental well-being and mindfulness. And then it also has, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it has eating well, sleeping safe and rest, sorry, keeping safe and resting and sleeping. Okay, um, one of our focuses, focuses here this year is going to be um, around journaling and writing. Um, so I picked up the homeschooling with pets um, because I thought she would really enjoy it. So there are lots of activities in here. So we've got picking books, um, learning about different animals, creative writing. So I thought it would really help with notebooking, but rather than just saying to her, pick something and write about it. This is um, halfway there, I think, for her age. So I think she'll really like that, although I am going to do um, notebooking in that way too. So give her a stack of books to read and pick something that she'd like to learn about more and maybe make some notes in a, her writing book. I just made her this little, um, so it's just got a picture and then some lines for her to put her thoughts down. But I thought this would be really fun and I've actually got myself one of these um, thinking tree journals and I picked the mom handbook. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. We can do it together at the table. Um, fun activity probably on a fun Friday um, you can also that was so watch a movie as well about your chosen uh, animal and then make notes on it they look so fun I'm really excited to delve into these okay for nature study we have a few different things so I did get exploring nature with children but we're not using it as the way it intends we'll just be picking bits out of it um, that match our topics so we're going to be using this this is the nature study and outdoor science journal from the thinking tree um, again this is looking absolutely fantastic and um, so for the first page I mean <laughs> nature hunt find all these things over the year and then colour it in it's just amazing I just love these thinking tree journals um, draw a cloud, your favourite insect, nature notes, quotes, spelling words, pick some nature books, draw, read a book about the animals that live in water, do a hike, um, learn about frogs and toads, watch a documentary. They're just fantastic. I'm really excited for that one. And then I've got some books to go along with that one. So we've got the British Wildlife. The illustrations in this one are absolutely stunning. So we go through flowers, um, creepy crawlies, fierce flyers, garden guests, tremendous trees, colourful critters, seabirds, squawkers, nighttime neighbours, saltwater swimmers, fruits and berries, and so on and so on. <laughs> Smooth and slithery. <laughs> it's really fun. And the pictures are absolutely gorgeous. And I also got the RSPB Wildlife in Your Garden. Again, this looks like such a fun book for her to read. She's going to love it, I'm sure. And then the RSPB first book of birds. So we can do some bird spotting. And then I saw this in someone else's video and I thought it'd be fab. So we got the Book of Gardening Projects for Kids. Um, it was out of print, um, but I found a used copy, so that was great. Um, and it gives you lots of different projects from, you know, starting off really small. So if you've only got a pot in the garden um so projects of that moving up to planting <laughs> whole spread so i'm really looking forward to doing those with her i think that gardening book is actually back in print now as well so if you want to to grab it i think it was on amazon um my rsb pb nature clipboard it's another thing that i got for nature study as well so you've got lots of different um, stickers and posters and all kinds of things. I don't want to open it, but there's all kinds of different things in here. Activities, and you get your little clipboard for when you want to um, to do some drawing. So here, so you've got inside, you've got a spotter guide, a poster, an activity book, and some activity sheets. And obviously, a little clipboard. I thought that would be really fun. Perfect for a backpack as well. Not too heavy. Okay, for social studies, among some other things I've got planned. Um, I have picked Stand Up, Stand Out, 25 Rebel Heroes who stood up for their beliefs and how they could inspire you. Um, so this has got um, all these different people in there. And then it is an illustrated picture and then some information about them. 
looks like a fantastic read. And then I also got What Would She Do? Real Life Stories of 25 Rebel Women Who Changed the World. And this has got these ladies in here. And again, it's the same, same design. So illustration of them and then some information about what they did. Okay, for coding, she has become very proficient in Scratch Junior, so we'll be doing the next level up the regular Scratch application this year, and also Python. And then I've got these DK workbooks, Coding in Scratch Games and Coding in Scratch Projects, amongst other things that I've got for coding as well. Um, we're very into um, coding in our family. <laughs> so I think she will love those. Okay, for readers and read alouds. So for read alouds, um, sorry, for readers, I have got the Myths and Legends collection. I tried to tie it up with our history. Um, so there are various titles in here that would go great with the uh, Story of the World Volume 2. And then I also got this one, which is the, the uh, Time Chronicles. Again, there are 18 chapter books in there as well. And then I've also got these here so we've been reading this series and she's been loving it so I've got her I think she's only got two left in this uh, series to read um, they're perfect little chapter books so definitely recommend them and especially if you've got a little scientist like I do um, as I said we've almost finished those so my friend recommended the Ada Lace series we're trying this one I just got one to see how she likes it and then I picked these uh, for her so she's got Safari Pug these are really <laughs> adorable little stories um, it's in colour as well, which is always great. Uh, Cowboy Pug, Captain Pug, and then we've got Meet the Twitches. So we've got three. There is um, just regular Meet the Twitches, and then meet the Twitches meet a puppy, and the Twitches bake a cake. And I've got this Animal Inn, three books in one. She's going to have so much fun reading this one. <laughs> um, it looks a really funny story. Um, Diary of a Killer Cat, just for fun. I don't think he actually does anything bad. <laughs> it's just a jokey story, which you'll really like. And there you go. Oh, he killed a bird. Uh -uh. Well, she'll really like that one. Um, and then towards the end of the year, she can try these ones. Um, so these are all mysteries. So we've got Violet and the Mummy Mystery, Violet and the Pearl of the Orient, Violet and the Hidden Treasure, and Violet and the Smugglers. Um... I think she could probably read them sooner actually. Um, those. And then we have my daughter really likes to read if you're thinking that's too much books. She loves to read. <laughs> um, we have the Magic School Bus. No, we don't have the Magic School Bus. I'm going crazy now after all this Cricket Animals. Um, the Magic Tree House book collection. Um, we have the Passport to Adventures curriculum that goes with it from Jessica at the Waldock Way. Um, she designed it for her daughter and then put it on sale for other people to purchase. And we love the Magic Tree House. She's read a few of them, but I, we haven't read all of them. She goes through them really fast though. <laughs> um, but she is going to love um, reading them, especially when she has picked so many fun activities to go with. So this is the teacher's manual. So she's got all the different stories here. And then I'll just get to the right page. So for example, this one is the Amazon Rainforest. So she gives you different activities to do with it. So videos to watch, Pinterest board activities, additional books, games, um, and extras. So, so this is going to be a really fun enrichment activity for us. Oh, there's one more thing for readers as well. We have the Enid Blyton Magic Faraway Tree and Wishing Chair Collection. I adored this series when I was a kid and to see my daughter reading them is just so magical. So the Wishing Chair is currently out because she's reading it. So we've got more Wishing Chair stories, the Wishing Chair again, Folk of the Faraway Tree, the Magic Faraway Tree and the Enchanted Ward. Enid Blyton is just so great for this age. Um, highly recommend them. And we've also got the Famous Five series as well that she can try. Okay, Reloud. So a lot of them are based on what are literature curriculum recommends, so Torchlight, and this is The Turtle of Oman. Stella Diaz has something to say, I'm not sure all of them, this is just a couple of them. The Emperor's Riddle, Neil Gaiman, Fortunately the Milk, The Wollstonecraft Detective Agency, and by Magic, so that's a couple of them. And then I've also got some that I've picked 
for us too. So we've got the trumpet for Swan, the Wind and the Willows, the Five Children and It series. And then she loves the Goonie Bird series. We, we read one of them this year, which she really enjoyed. Um, I think she really likes it because Goonie Bird loves to write and so does she. So um, I thought that would be good. And then I picked up these. I'm not sure if we're going to do them as read louds or readers. I think probably read louds initially. So basically it's, they're all fairy tale based. And then it's, you have 48 choices and 23 endings of how you can change the story. So as you're reading along, you can choose the different direction the characters go in, which I think is a really fun idea. And I think she'll love that. So if you can see, it says turn to page 42 if you want uh, that scenario, or turn to page 40 if you want that scenario. So I think it's going to be really fun. Okay, now on to some other fun stuff that we've added this year. Okay, so some fun stuff we added. We have got a compass, the Thinkful Math Dice Game, the Brain Quest uh, Question and Answers Challenge cards. We got those last year and we really liked them. Um, Smart Games Chicken Shuffle. We are doing some French this year. We've been doing Spanish, but I wanted to try some French this year. So we are doing the first one with French DVD, and then I've got another couple of things as well um, to go with that for French. Um, we are doing Brain Box for Nature our nature study. We love these, we've got a couple of them already, so I've got a few more this year. British history, the animals, art, once upon a time, storytelling and kings and queens. And then I also got this off Amazon, it's actually used but it's, it's in good condition. The bookworm game, the game of reading and remembering, so you read a little paragraph of a story and then you have to answer the questions and then move along the game board. I also got the Learning Resources Fraction Tower Activity Set. Okay, we got the Idiom of the Week Pocket Chart, um, the Magnetic Place Value Set, and the Money Mat. Also, Times Table Swapped, the Royal Roundup Strategy and Addition Skills Medieval Game, um, the Junior Outdoor Microscope, so that'd be a great for nature study. Um, learning Resources All About Time, the Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus Builder Kit. The Money Activity Set, some Fraction Cards, Stargazer's Journal and Nature Journal. The STEM Science Scribble Book and the Engineering one, and also 30 Amazing Recipes for Slime. Um, Roald Dahl's Creative Writing with Charlie, BFG and Matilda. Uh, my daughter is obsessed with this book, I keep saying to her it's for second grade, <laughs> but she can't stop reading it. Um, the Bacteria Book, Gross Germs, Vile Viruses and Funky Fungi. Um, this is a, the st a science lab, but it's more STEM, um, STEM, I said that yesterday, engineering projects <laughs> um, than necessarily science experiments. And then these are fun, these sticker mosaics. So the neon creatures. Then it's got the picture and the stickers at the back. Wild creatures. There's the images for that one. And the fine art masterpieces, and again, there are the pictures for that one. Okay, some fun stationery. So we've got our favourite markers, the Crayola Super Tips, best markers ever. <laughs> um, two composition notebooks, you pick the pugs, and then narwhals. Um, we have got the little exercise books, and then the A4 ones. Pens, all different ones in there. For all her little thinking tree notebooks, some fun highlighters, some aqua pencils, and some watercolours. So that's everything in my haul. Thanks for staying with me if you stayed with me this long. Um, I've got tons of links in the description box for you. We've homeschooled from preschool. I don't have a preschool haul, but I do have um, pre K4, kindergarten, first grade, and then obviously this one as well. So I'll put those links in case you have young kids. And then I'll also put the links to the videos I mentioned earlier, so Torchlight, Story of the World book picks, and Elemental Science book picks. Thanks for watching, take care, see you soon, bye for now.